Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn about the Dandy Dinman Terrier, a sociable breed with a passion for play and loyalty. As always, we've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you're drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue, though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the Join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the Join button. Now, let's get into the video, starting with the breed's history. The origin of this breed still remains a mystery. However, some documentation shows that the Dandy Dinmont Terriers were produced for the first time in the early 1700s. The Dandy Dinmont, like other wide terrier varieties, was created because of the widespread hobby among athletic men to develop new breeds. Given the moniker Mustard and Pepper for short, this working terrier is a descendant of the dogs used to hunt badgers, otters, and other varmint. According to specific theories, the breed may have sprung from rough-haired terriers seen on farms. Some researchers believe they descended from a mix of otter hounds and the indigenous terriers of the borderland region straddling Scotland and England. Alternatively, some think that the breed was created by crossing terriers with dachshunds. Whatever explanation one favors, the truth remains that dandies are among the oldest terrier breeds. Modern-day dandy dinments are very similar to the dog seen with Henry, third Duke of Bukalug by Gainsborough on the Duke's painting from 1770, while many different dog breeds lay claim to that that spot. Dandies had a specific name when Sir Walter Scott noted them in his novel Guy Mannering in 1814. The Dandy Dinmont Terrier Standard was drafted and the Dandy Dinmont Terrier Club was established in Scotland in 1875. The standard in England and the rest of the globe hasn't changed much since it was first published in 1876. The American Standard has been altered and updated throughout the years to reflect the changes made to the original by the British Club and others in 1987. In the latter 1970s, century, Dandy Dinmans had enormous popularity in England. The dog-loving Queen Victoria had a dandy. It is still being determined when the first dandies arrived in the United States. Still, in 1886, the first year of the stud book registry, a dandy called Bonnie Britton was registered with the American Kennel Club. The dandy Dinmont Terrier is critically endangered as the Kennel Club of England has included it on its list of endangered native breeds. Appearance the Dandy Dinmont Terrier is characterized by a long, low body and tiny legs, in addition to a massive head covered with abundant, silky white hair, long, dangling ears capped with feathering and reaching nearly to a point, wide, bright, expressive eyes, and a long, low torso. The Dandy Dinmont Terrier's outer coat is dry and smooth, protecting the dog's fluffy, downy undercoat from the elements. Two-thirds firm and one-third soft hair provide the top coat's distinctively crisp texture. Texture. The hair in the top knot is very luxurious and smooth. They are available in two unique hues, mustard and pepper. Mustards range in color from rusty brown to light fawn and have a white mop on top. Peppers range from almost black to a pale gray with a white cap. The Dandy Dinmont Terriers range from 18 to 24 pounds and 8 to 11 inches in height at the shoulder. When measured from head to tail, their bodies should be twice as long as they are tall. Temperament Dandies, like other terriers, have an abundance of confidence, although they're not as anxious as some other terriers. Like other terriers, dandies have a strong sense of autonomy and are intrepid, courageous, persistent, and bright. They are kind and courteous with those they know, yet guarded with new people. Because they are quiet and shy, dandies are unlike their terrier kin, which tends to be loud and vocal. When required, a dandy will let forth a deep, resounding bark. They must understand that it's rude to continue barking barking after hearing the alert. However, you can get a well-rounded dog with early training and socialization. Sweet-natured puppies explore their surroundings with enthusiasm and play and welcome human interaction. During adoption, meeting at least one of the parents, preferably the mother, is essential to ensure you get along well. To get a sense of what a puppy will be like as an adult, it might be instructive to meet his siblings or other relatives. Upbringing, education, and peer group influence all have an impact on the individual temperament, so do well to pick the puppy in the center rather than the one who's either bullying his litter mates or cowering in the corner. Socialization a dandy, like any other dog, benefits significantly from early socialization. 
To ensure that your Dandy Dinmont puppy develops into a well-rounded dog, it is important to socialize him or her from an early age. An excellent first step is to enroll him in puppy kindergarten. He may improve his social skills by having people over often, going to dog-friendly establishments, and going on long walks around the neighborhood. They are developed to withstand the hardships of agricultural life, so moving to the city shouldn't be too much of a shock to them. Dandies are little dogs with large hearts. Dandies get along well with other animals and kids if they're introduced to them as puppies. Suppose an adult dandy has never had much experience with kids. In that case, he might thrive in a family with older kids who can give him meaningful interactions. Terriers are great family dogs for individuals who like long walks and training sessions. Still, younger children should be taught not to pick them up or play rough games with them due to their tiny stature and long back. Dogs and young children should never be left alone together without supervision to avoid any potential for biting or ear or tail pulling on either side. Grooming Dandies have coats that need moderate to high care despite their seemingly low upkeep. Despite not shedding, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier nevertheless needs regular brushing and combing. At least twice a year, you'll want to get rid of the dead hair on its coat. Debris removal from a Dandy's coat occurs twice yearly. It's an integral part of keeping your dog looking neat and tidy. New hair grows in once the coarse hairs are plucked out. For this exercise, you may use your thumb and fingers to gently pull out individual long hairs from the coat regularly. Regularly. To finish up a dandy's grooming, ensure the hair on top of the nose is short and the hair around the eyes is trimmed short. The lengthy hair on the legs, underbody, head, and the hair between the foot pads may be clipped with scissors to refresh the plush furnishings. His breeder may do this for him by hand or his owner can learn to use a specific stripping tool that the breeder will prescribe. Care for teeth and nails are two more aspects of personal hygiene that are often overlooked. If your dog doesn't naturally wear down its nails, you should cut them periodically. They're excessively long if you can hear them while you walk. Two or three times a week, brush your dandy's teeth to eliminate tartar and the germs it harbors. The best way to avoid cavities and bad breath is to brush the teeth twice daily, but cleaning your teeth every day is even better. When your dandy is still a puppy, start getting him used to being brushed and inspected. Dogs are sensitive to having their feet touched, so be sure to do this often. Create a rewarding and pleasant association with grooming so that he'll be calm throughout veterinarian examinations and other forms of handling in his later years. Exercise Despite their tiny stature, Dandy Dinmonts need daily exercise consisting of at least an hour of vigorous play and training that challenges their body and intellect. Most Dandies fare okay as house pets provided they get regular mild exercise. Because of their long back and tiny legs, they are prone to injury if they leap too high or try to navigate too steep of steps or slopes. Nevertheless, they may participate in a wide range of canine activities. Because of their length and width, there are better choices than Dandy for owners searching for a running or riding companion. Training Dandies are massive canines in a little package. They're rugged and refined. They have the typical terrier traits of being headstrong, self-reliant, and overconfident in their abilities. Although a well-trained dandy makes an amicable companion, you should spend plenty of time teaching a recall and, of course, a quiet cue, and be sure to socialize your dog with other animals, including dogs, cats, and cattle. Dandies, like other terriers, may become too fond of their own voices if not correctly taught or restrained. Strain. If you can make training enjoyable for your dandy, you'll be impressed by how fast and quickly he picks up new skills. Diet and Nutrition Dandy Dinmonts of all ages will benefit from a diet of high-quality dog chow. Be aware that the amount of food your adult dog needs to be healthy will vary depending on his age, size, build, metabolism, and level of exercise. This is because each dog is an individual and its nutritional requirements will vary. One to one and a half cups of high-quality dry food are split between two meals each day. It's nearly a given that an energetic dog will need more food than a less active dog. You shouldn't have to shake as much dog food into your dog's bowl if you purchase high quality food since it'll go further toward feeding your dog. Avoid feeding your pet too many table scraps and keep them away from cooked bones and fatty meats. Find out which human meals may be provided to your dog and which should be avoided. Watch your dog's calorie intake and body mass index if he or she is predisposed to becoming overweight. While treats may be a helpful teaching tool, excessive doling out can lead to weight gain. Lastly, we suggest that it's best to visit a vet if you're worried about your 
dog's nutrition or weight. Health A dandy is a healthier breed than many others. However, they are susceptible to the same diseases that affect other dog breeds. Although not every dandy will contract one of these conditions, it is vital to know about them before bringing one into your home. They're more susceptible to spinal diseases because of their body type. Like many toy breeds, they are at risk for kneecaps that fall out of position. Lymphoma is a very uncommon disease in this breed, and most dogs live long, happy lives. Responsible breeders do genetic testing on their breed stock to prevent future issues. While every dog is susceptible to infestation by the mite Chalitalia yascuri, dandy Dinman Terrier pups and adults seem to be more often infected. Also, look for disc herniation, hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, hypothyroidism, epilepsy, and von Willebrand disease. An excellent way to start is by taking the dog in for examinations and parasite treatment regularly increases the likelihood that it will have a long and healthy life. Routine eye examinations are recommended for the Dandy Dinman Terrier, as is the case with many dog breeds due to the risk of genetic eye diseases. It is also crucial for you to find a reputable breeder willing to provide you with health documentation for both parents if you want to purchase a puppy. A dog with a valid health clearance has been tested for and found to be free of a specific disease. How do you care for your dog? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of our channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.